guys! Welcome back to Board Smashing! Goodbye, big and bulky non-portable gaming console! The next-gen portable gaming future is now! Let's unbox it! This is the PlayStation Portal! Obsolete! Who fell off now? You're probably wondering, how did I afford this? Well, after that one video where the bank closed my accounts due to my stupid spending... I found out that I could still open a PlayStation credit card to buy it and get a slight discount on the product at the same time! Money smarts! We'll worry about the whole paying it back thing later. And with that out of the way... Wow! It's Sony's Nintendo Switch! Please save my channel! Come on, come on! Just gotta connect it to the internet and we're- oh, of course. Almost forgot about the miracles of modern internet! Ah! And it keeps on giving! Finally! What? What was I doing before? Jacking off? Or is it just fucking with me? Is it possible to feel any more violated? What? This isn't a standalone console? You still need a PS5 and Wi-Fi to play? God damn it! Is there a reason that these things keep on selling out despite being on the same level as... Now how am I gonna save my channel? Hmm... I know! I'll give Sony more of my money! And maybe I'll try this critically acclaimed game too! Hmm... What's the name of the game again? All I remember was seeing red. Double red! Here we have the new PS5 Slim! Now I can set up the portal and play Spider-Man! The name just came back to me! It was worth going slightly more in debt to PlayStation! What's on the back of the box? Oh! Instructions on how to open it! Okay, here we go! Uh, yeah! Soften her up a bit. Ugh. Okay, that's probably a safety hazard. Controller. Cables. Manual. Stand. And the console itself. She thick! Oh, I'm so wet right now! And finally, here's the game! Wait, this isn't Spider-Man! Damn it! <gasps> bad idea, bad idea, bad idea! And these weren't instructions on how to open the box? Damn it! How will I continue this video now? Can we at least salvage the controller? What? Yes! Yes! Honestly, was not expecting that. But what about the console? Wouldn't hurt to try. Ah! That hurt! 
Less than when the store denied me a refund for some reason. Now how am I supposed to stretch this video out without another long setup process? Hmm... Oh, of course! Another durability test! A lot of people compare this to the Wii U, so let's see if durability is on the same par. Which one will survive the Gamer Rage Slam Test? Thank you, Slow Mo, for always extending the runtime. First up, Wii U! Three, two, one! <laughs> Forgot to turn something off. It shut off when it hit the ground. Hmm. Now the PlayStation Portal! Three, two, one! Looking good! Except this is starting to pop out. There we go. Wii U! Round two! Three, two, one! Didn't even shut off this time! And other than a screw cover popping off, there appears to be no other damage. Sony's Wii U! Round two! Three, two, one! Everything appears to be working fine, except... This popped out again, and if you can see, it's starting to crack. On this side, too. How much longer can it last? And the back cover is starting to pop off, too. There we go. Wii U, round three. Three, two, one. Still on, but we have some major damage. The battery cover is popping off and it broke through one of the screw holes. Ooh. PlayStation U, round three. Three, two, one! Ooh. I have to redefine what major damage is now. Yeah, this is why I didn't want to do it indoors. I was asking myself earlier if I should have done this test outside for this very reason. <sighs> Go to the quick menu to easily change settings! Yeah, let's see if that still works. Wow! Oh, Finger of steel! Don't try this at home! Other than the screen, looks like everything else still works. Somewhat. Looking at the slow-mo, it got slammed directly on its head and turned demonic for a second. So to make things fair... If the Wii U can survive a slam in the same position, then it will be the winner. Wii U, final round. Three, two, one. Damn it. Final round, attempt two. Three, two, one. Final round, attempt three. Three, two, one. There we go. And... It wins! Little rattly, but it still 100% works, and it didn't spill its guts all over my floor. Nintendium and their concern for child safety wins once again! Well, that was fun, but I still want to experience Spider-Man! But buying another one of these would be too expensive! So if I can't play them anymore, I might as well customize them! With Sony's official Spider-Man PS5 accessories! The Spider-Man DualSense wireless controller, and the Spider-Man PS5 faceplates. Both of these were cheaper than having to buy a brand new console. Even if they came from scalpers. I'm only slightly more in debt to PlayStation now. Let's start with the portal. Hmm... How do you remove these controllers?
Not as simple as Joy-Cons, but now we can put on the Spider-Man version. How are you supposed to separate these? Beautiful. Moving on to the slim. Now, how are you supposed to remove these face plates? Are these lines supposed to indicate something? Now let's put on the Spider-Man version! Oh, Why won't they fit? Maybe you're supposed to... You all knew where this was going! did my own thing! Ah, oh, who am I kidding? There are abominations that need to burn! Die! Thank you, Fire Shots, for also stretching out the video. Speaking of which... Die with the other abomination!
I got my Spider-Man fix, and it was cheaper than having to buy another new console! Although, I am gonna be sad that I'm not gonna be able to play the new exclusive experiences the PS5 can offer. We're gonna ask now for the games on out here, so... Oh, okay. Yeah, just because the game's not out yet, so... Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, what about sports games? Set hike! Well, what about... No... No... Ah! Yeah, I think I'm good. And so with that, thank you guys for watching, Comment, like, and subscribe. Please! I fell off hard! I need this! And I'll see you guys later. Bye! <gasps> ah! My landlord is here! No, Sony! Please don't evict me! I was gonna pay it off soon! What? I didn't make these purchases using that! Okay, I did. But can you blame me? My bank froze my accounts for stupid spending! No, I didn't also buy Taylor Swift stuff on it! <gasps> Put that away! <laughs> ah! Please don't write to my GoFundMe to prevent this from happening again! Yes! I got the Apple Vision Pro! And the drain is clogged, despite my best efforts. <sighs> Alright, it's been about three days since I unboxed it in the bathtub. Since then, I let it dry outside, and right now we're gonna test if it still works. This is not a skit or anything, I actually have it hooked up with the same cables that were submerged. So yeah, we're just gonna flip the power on. No explosions so far. Does the controller still work? Nope. What about the console? Nope. Doesn't turn on. Again, this is not a skit. It just doesn't work. Okay, joking aside, one sign of life it does show is that when I flip on the power, you can hear the disk drive trying to work. And that's pretty much it. Damn it. Ironically, during the filming of this video, when I went to bed, I left my camera on a tripod, my robot dog, don't ask, started roaming, and knocked it over. After looking over everything, other than a bent microphone jack, amazingly, everything still works. So I guess you can say, in theme with the video, that was my canon event. Also ironic, they both share the same name. I almost forgot about making a joke referencing the Valve game with the same name. That's the right game, right? Ow, my ears. I dug it out of the trash just to make that stupid joke. <laughs>